we can't get to all no, these questions. This will probably be like a 15, 20 minute video that you're watching but right we've now. we've been talking for like 30 minutes already. Okay, this might be like a 30 minute <laughs> video that you're watching right now. And then you might get another one in maybe a week or two. Like, and then, may, you know, because there's a lot of questions. <sighs> Miss Nasha, I was actually thinking about this today. Would you ever do a meetup in Indy? I live here and would love to meet your family. Yo, first of all, let me say that I'm sorry because all of our indie peeps, we have had meetups, I feel like, everywhere else we have gone, but I don't know why it is so hard for us to organize a meetup here. Yeah. I think the biggest thing for us is finding a good location because a lot of times when we have meetups when we just go out of town we'll pick a random park or whatever and be like oh just meet us here yeah. meet us at the mall but i feel like because we're in indy we're going to have a larger turnout so it would be better mm -hmm. if we had a more organized type of meetup and we've never had anything like that really yeah. before so, we've, so been, we've been talking about that <laughs> and then also because it's our you know our hometown and 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 because you'll have the uh, you'll be able to get to meet like Mama and Nana yeah, and Kelly, Kelly and yeah. all the people that are in the vlogs as well. Um, then it has to be a little bit more organized so that, you know, because we want to be able to have fun. Maybe, I don't know. So we've been figuring out how to make it more more special than just like a simple... Yeah, just come meet us outside. Come, yeah, we really want it to be Go something ahead. special and... and you know, make it make it a big thing. You know, so I don't know, but but we we've, we've literally been talking about this for three years though. So we may have to just do just a yeah thrown together meetup just to to do something, and then we can plan something later. Because I don't want to just keep saying, oh, we want it to be this, we want it to be that, and then we don't mm -hmm. ever do anything. Like yeah. So if you have any suggestions for locations in Indy that would be great to house a meetup, let us know. Like Absolutely. if you're an Indy peak, because that's our biggest hang up is finding a location that would work for everybody Absolutely. So, so it's her fault um and whatever yeah alejandro what up homie what up homie he says being someone who doesn't express her emotions so often and chad being the type wearing his heart on his sleeve so to speak where do you guys balance and does it do you ever clash where maybe he wishes for more or you feel overwhelmed with too much affection Great questions. Earlier in our marriage, we didn't clash. It was just different for her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was an adjustment period. Yeah, because she just wasn't used to someone giving her um, so many compliments or giving her so much attention. And she was used to her alone time. Yeah. You know, and so, you know, so I mean, in any marriage, I think if you're used to your alone time, then you have to get used to not having as much alone time. Sometimes, right. you know, and yeah. uh, it's an adjustment. But, um... But no, I mean, I think that it never clashes. I mean, I think it's just one of those things where it's a it's a good balance. Gabrielle loves me to death. I yeah. know that she loves me, I mean, undeniably, and I know that. Uh, and I had to learn how she shows her love. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it, it's not the same way that I show, show my love. So it's the same way with the way that you want to receive love or how you receive love. Like the Five Love Languages is a book mm -hmm. that we did. And my way of feeling love and receiving love is completely different than hers. Yeah. But so it's just that adjustment period, fearing, learning each other. Learning each other. But even like, honestly, like even past the adjustment period, there are certain times where Chad has had to say to me, I need, I need a little bit more. Like yeah. you have, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I think that with your spouse or with whoever you're with, sometimes you, you just got to be real and you got to verbalize what you want because nobody is a mind reader yeah so chad has definitely said to me hey can we do this a little more like i would like to do this more where i may just I, it's not anything against him i just might not she's not this is not my thing you yeah, know what i'm exactly. saying so i think that we've had that conversation yeah. you know a few times so it's like now i know i know how to love him like i know yeah. what he requires and he knows the same for it, me yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. and it's not it's not bad those convers those little conversations we're always like, you know, like in a in a very kind-hearted, easy way. Oh yeah, yeah. It was and never because it doesn't have to be awkward. Like no, if you're in love with each other. Yeah. Like so, communicate. Yeah, communicate. I'm telling you, it all goes back to communication, man. man. If your spouse is not doing something that you would love for them to do, open your just mouth. Tell them. But in a nice don't way. Be, don't <laughs> be sarcastic. Don't be. You know what I'm saying? Like don't put them down. Just. Have a conversation, Express like man. I would feel. really love it if you 
did this or if we did this more often or you know I feel like this when you treat me like this or when you respond like things like that those types of conversations are golden yeah because that's the only reason that's the only way you learn about your spouse and how to Absolutely. how to make them feel better because we both want to feel loved in this relationship so yeah so you just yeah. have to communi communicate yeah no, seriously. you have to man communication is key good question and booty slap <laughs> And team Cody um, she says how much time do you allocate to teaching schoolwork chat junior a day and what materials do you use now I have to be honest because for a really long time we didn't do a whole lot yeah. honestly like we would read to him at night and sometimes read with him during the day but really but, we just would play with him like you know we yeah. play toys with him but not like sitting down and reading or going through mm -hmm. with him. So, you know, somewhere along the line, after, you know, plenty of people on YouTube told me that I was a horrible mom and I needed to get my life together, <laughs> um, I started buying like flashcards and uh, we bought a bunch of flashcards mm -hmm. at Target and then we bought like these games we bought him for his birthday. It's like you, they're these puzzle pieces mm -hmm. and you have to like put the number with the matching matching little animal animal and then there was another one that we got we got two yeah. sets of those so we did those with him and then we would just make sure that we were going over like yeah. simple things the alphabet and counting with him yeah. and his colors and his shapes mm -hmm. and but nothing really like out of a textbook so to speak just here recently i just purchased a few, um, a, a few workbooks like pre-k workbooks for him mm -hmm. and then um what is the program called? Phonics? Not phonics, but your baby can read or your something something like that. I cannot yeah. remember the name of it, but I got like levels one, two, and three. And I was just gonna like start with one and just kind of see. I feel like he knows most of that, but we but I wanted to just, just kind of see, see where, yeah. before I took him to level two. Mm -hmm. Because I do want him to be as prepared as possible when he goes into kindergarten. And he's learning a lot in school, you know, yes. but I think that that was something we had to learn is that he can't learn everything. Exactly. In so like we, it is also our job mommy. to teach him. Yes. Yeah, mommy. Right here. Oh, mommy just got dry skin. It's Ash. Oh. <laughs> You're so sweet. Memoria J. Hey, girl. What up? She. Oh, I know who this. I know who you are because you always ask this. When are you coming to Europe slash Spain? LOL, girl. <sighs> I it, wish I could tell you. It might be it might be in a few months. <laughs> it could be. I mean it might be. We have been talking about taking a trip for our birthday. And we've been saving money for that. We've been putting money aside for a Europe trip for the last couple of years. Just putting yeah. it there. Yeah, honestly we've been we've been using our capital app. I get questions from you guys like do we really use capital? We do. Non stop. And we have an actual travel fund that we've been saving yeah. since we got introduced to it. So I no, we've been we've been trying to um, decide if where to take a trip for our birthday mm -hmm. this year. But it's kind of it's kind of last minute. I feel like to plan a trip to Europe at this point because it's almost May. So I mean it can be done, but I also have stipulations on when I want to be in in Europe or Spain or how I want to experience it. So I don't know if it doesn't happen this year, maybe next year. Yeah. So hey, this is yeah. our trip. Like I've traveled yeah. the world a lot when I was a contractor and stuff like that. But I've never been to Europe or Spain, so I'm excited. I've been to Europe, but a little bit. But yeah. I'm excited to take this trip with her. But I, but she is the one that said from the get go that's where she wanted to go, yeah. and so oh, I want it to be absolutely perfect for her and everything she wants to do because yeah. you know I want yeah. it to be super memorable. So we coming. I promise you, we coming. We all got our passports too. Like there's no excuse. We need exactly. to get it together. Lbib nine oh eight asks. Do you pray together as a couple and family? And yes, we do. We, we do. pray together often together. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah. 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 We do. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, that's I can't, I'm not going to say every day because we don't always pray together every day. We always pray for, pray for our meals we, together. Yeah, we pray for, for our sure, meals but, together every day. Um, but um, we do pray together 
a lot. Quite often. We yeah. pray, I mean, we pray separately pro- every day, probably. Yeah. yeah. But like, you know, like. Coming together as a family. That's actually something we've talked about. We want to do. To do even more. More. Make sure that it's a, a part of our routine that is mm-hmm. non-negotiable. Like we come together as a family and pray either at the beginning of our day or at the end or both. Like, Absolutely. so. Yeah. yeah. We want Chad to know that it's very, he's sitting right here. That's why I pointed y'all. That, that it's, that it's it important is important to pray. to pray to Jesus and to God that he that they're, you know, they're listening, you know, and that's something that we've tried to teach him. Yeah, we pray with him every night. Yeah. That's part of his bedtime routine. So Absolutely. we, whether I'm putting him to bed or he's putting him to bed, we're saying... And don't let us start falling asleep. <laughs> because he'll be like, uh, Mommy, Dad, Prayer. Dad, yeah. it's time it's to time pray. To pray. We, we can pray. <laughs> we'll start will, falling asleep. He will totally wake <laughs> us up and be like, it's time to pray. Cause Which is good. Knows. Yeah, yeah. So, Beauty with Micah. Question, when will the podcast come for Gabe and Babe? Also, more shirts or summer gear. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Y'all, let me tell y'all. This podcast situation, it, it just irks my soul. Because for the life of me, I cannot re- I cannot figure out what is taking us so long to put it out there. I think that in my mind, I'm, I'm kind of a, I don't like to call myself a perfectionist, but I just like everything to be. She's a perfectionist. Good, you know what I'm saying? So we haven't had like, we don't have like a good picture for it. We don't have a good logo for it. We haven't even got our microphones that I want us to have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have microphones that we could use, but so I think I'm keeping myself from from doing it, but we do have a name. We've had a name, we Mm -hmm. settled on a name. I got an email together. I got a SoundCloud account together. So there are steps that I've done. Yeah. But, and then we don't have, then I'm like, what are we talking about? <laughs> I want a podcast so bad, but I don't really know I think that what direction. It's something that, well, here's the thing. We have a list of goals individually and then also together mm-hmm. um, as a couple, but then also as our, for, for our business. Yeah. And we have to, we, um, we have to just kind of sit down and prioritize. I think that's important. Mm-hmm. All of the things we want to do, and podcast is up there. In my mind, I would love to launch at least the first episode our birthday month, June. Which is very doable. First episode, but then my thought is like, I don't want to put it out there and then go like months without podcasting again. You know what I'm saying? I have that fear of starting something and then it just kind of tapers off, like because I'm not sure that we could do a weekly podcast, honestly. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. It might take us a minute to get to that. So I don't know, y'all, but. It really depends on how much y'all like it. Yeah, like, cause, so. I mean, because we don't know. We're, we're totally new to this. And we don't even know what our first show should be about. Should it be about us? Like, should we just introduce ourselves? We're totally green when it comes to podcasting. Like, I just want to do it because it, it just seems like fun. Seems, seems like and fun, I yeah. love listening to podcasts. So, I figured if there are some people that may, may not be able to watch our videos, you might just want to listen to us talk about random things. Yeah. So, yeah. It is going to come. It's going to come. And then gear. And hopefully you like the name too. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Um, And then like more merchandise, more shirts, more gear. Y'all, we've got some cool designs. Mm -hmm. We do. We've got some cool designs like already done. Yeah, we Um, just need to like. But we're trying to find, we really would love to give you um, the the best best quality quality product that you Mm -hmm. can buy. Like we don't want to give you cheap stuff. We want stuff that will last a while and it'll look good. You'll rock it like any and everywhere so look for some cool stuff but i mean in the meantime we do still have be fearless gear we have gay babe tv logo shirts the let's um, make out the let's make out shirts so you know we can put links for all those in yeah the we'll description put all the links box. in the description box for those but yeah we will be coming out with some more mm-hmm. promise tamika brundage I don't think, i'm not sure that i said that right but she says for people that might feel like their process seems insignificant or feel like they are stuck where they are, what are some encouraging words you can give them from your life experiences that helped you to stay focused on your dreams, God's purpose for your life, and not give up? Uh, She said, I know that was a huge run-on, but practical things that can be done to stay positive in a negative world. Man. (laughs) Let me jump on my soapbox. Now I'm just playing. Uh, No, I think that I mean, the first thing that you have to do is understand that that your process is your process, your goals are your goals, your dreams are your dreams. Mm-hmm. So first of all, you have to set them. 
You set some goals, like for real, like sit down and really pen and paper. I'm a pen and paper type person. Pen and paper what you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. Short term, long term, mid term. Like think about those things. The think week. about plan the week. for the week. Yeah. Like, think yeah. about what makes you happy and what you know you, you have a passion for. Set some goals and then understand that like you're gonna have bumps. Like so don't because you want to. I'm trying to give you a simple example. So my, you know, say I want to do, I, I want to do a full Ironman one day. Mm -hmm. If I said I'm going to do a full Ironman in, in June of this year, it's unrealistic. Yeah. It's a, it's an unrealistic goal. So you have to be realistic at the same time. So, but if I say that I want to do it in 2019, which is what I said I want to do, totally doable. Yeah. Totally doable because I'm going to set these little small milestones and goals that I'm going to achieve along the way that's going to put me in the right place with some God's favor mm -hmm. to do it in 2019. So yeah, make some goals and be realistic about when you can achieve them. And don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. I mean, absolutely. do it, be you, do you grind hard and understand that it's going to, it's going to take some hard work, but you know, as long as you're able to put that in and you're willing to put it in, you're going to reach them. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, I would say trust the process. Mm -hmm. You may feel like your process is insignificant, but it's not. Everything you're yeah. going through is preparing you for Absolutely. something greater. And it's up to you to figure out what it is to get out of where you are right now. If you're stuck, why are you stuck? Yeah. What are you supposed to be getting from this? What is the lesson in where you are right now? Mm -hmm. And just trust the process and do do what you have to do, like he said, to reach those goals that you set for yourself. And another another thing, another huge thing is to don't get caught up in comparison. And yeah. I am speaking from personal experience. Like this is something that still gets me. In the world of social media that we are now, we are totally, we are always bombarded with people's highlights. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to get caught up in everybody's highlights thinking that nothing is bad or everything is great for them mm -hmm. or you know and then you can get caught up like you don't know everybody's individual story so you can be looking at somebody that is crushing it or killing it or doing something that you would love to do but you don't know how long they've been trying to get there or yeah, what they've absolutely. been doing along the way so make sure that you don't compare yourself to anybody but the person you were the day before you need to be better than you absolutely. like it's not about being better than someone else because you could be looking at somebody's point z and you at point a like you know what i'm saying you're not going to be at the same place because Absolutely. you got to go through all these letters to there's get a whole to bunch of numbers in between yeah those. you got to get to like, all of this wait <laughs> you got to go through all of those letters to get Absolutely. there you know what i'm saying so i'm comparison is the thief of joy man and i'm preaching to myself too because this is probably yeah. one of the things that that get me the most when I allow myself to get frustrated or feel like I'm not doing what I should be doing or everybody else is doing this why are we doing this da, 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 da. yes and he has to talk me off the ledge quite often it's because I'm comparing myself so um mm -hmm. you gotta let that go man yeah. you just gotta set your sights on your future your highlights what do you want for you Absolutely. so yeah hopefully that helps yeah. Patricia Moore and she asked are you going to put Chad Jr. into some sports and which ones? He seems like he's a great athlete. And honestly, he does, doesn't he? He's like a little athlete already. Yeah. So he's going to go in every single sport. No, we're athletes. He's going he's to like all of them. He's going to do them 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday. Is, he, is he going to school? No, no school. <laughs> we are preparing an athlete. No, sorry. No, yeah, no. Definitely putting him in some, so, in some sports. Specifically... Ones that he's interested in. Yeah, we kind of want to give him the opportunity to experience them all or enough of them so that he can kind of pick. We know that he that he likes soccer. He liked it last year. We didn't put him in it this year, mm -hmm. but he liked it. Mm -hmm. um, but we're actually really thinking about putting him in martial arts. That's yeah. something Babe has been talking I about. Because he loves his new thing, Power Rangers, y'all. Oh, yeah. He loves it. And, and, but, he's really, but he's really good at kicking and, you know, like doing the moves that they're doing on the show, he can do them. Like, he's he's very athletic, like you said. You know, he's he's very fast for his age. Oh he does a full-fledged, like, so sprint. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things where uh, we just want to give him the opportunity. But we're also going to give him a chance to, if sing, 
know, he yeah, goes, he goes absolutely. to sing class to go at, like he goes a to theater. Music class. If yeah. he wants to do acting, like we just want to be able to give him all the opportunities that he his little heart. Or his big heart desires. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what he deserves. Yeah, yeah. Maybe T ball or is it T ball? Is that what it's called? T ball. Yeah. It's like maybe that I actually found the league for the summer. I need to check that out because I was gonna register him, but mm -hmm. um so yeah, just we wanna put him in a little bit of everything and just see what sticks. You know, we don't Absolutely. wanna force him to do something that he's not into. But I think that he's gonna have at least two sports that he kills it in. Absolutely. Like, there, yeah. yeah, he's he's a little beast, my little beast. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Alright guys, I think this is our last question yep. because our lighting is our lighting going, is going. away. If, as you can tell, thankfully this bright computer. Um it's this from Candace Dawn. Hey girl. She says I'll be working from home very soon, and what would you say are some of the keys to working successfully at home? I'm pretty self-motivated, but I'm worried about my dog barking to get my attention while I'm busy talking to clients. So. Yeah, first of all, congrats say? on being able yeah, to go, to be at home and do that. That's really awesome. awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I tell you what, it's been the biggest blessing and one of the biggest struggles. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to a job, nine to five, and you're in a structured environment, you, that's, you're there to do work. And if you don't do work, then you get in trouble for not doing work. When you're at home, you can get distracted by... Easily distracted. You know, other, you know, if she's trying to make out with me, she's slapping the booty or stuff. <laughs> but, <laughs> you can get distracted. Yeah. So, um, can get distracted. so it's, and plus, if, 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 you're, if money is coming in and you're doing well, then sometimes it's easy to procrastinate on other goals, like, the the podcast mm -hmm. um, you know just using a life example yeah, yeah. Um, so you just have to stay motivated stay um, on a mission stay driven mm -hmm. and again set goals personally and professionally and you know what you're what you're going for what you're trying to achieve do not and if it gets to the point where you're so distracted at home then go outside the house. Take your butt to Starbucks. Yeah. Go somewhere where you can still get some, and then slowly transition yourself back to home when you know you can handle it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would say have a designate have a designated area at home. Don't try to work from home in your bed on the couch if it's too comfy. Like if you don't have a, an office space. Get a nice little desk and put it somewhere where this is where I sit yeah. and this is where I do work. If it's the kitchen table, oh. get your work done there. He's so bad about that, y'all. He yeah. don't even use his office downstairs. But have a designated area where you know you can sit and focus. Yeah. And then create a schedule for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, from this time to this time, I'm checking emails. From this time to this time, I'm taking calls. And I'm not looking at my phone. I'm not taking phone calls mm -hmm. outside of work. I'm not looking at social media. Like, keep yourself on a schedule. You know, set goals for the day. I got to get this done, this done, this done. Try not to do more than five. Don't be an overachiever like me. Babe, I always says I put way too much stuff on my she list She put 26 day. things on her list. <laughs> and then like, be mad when I don't get none of it done. <laughs> my sweetheart, you just put 26 items on your list. So, yeah, those will be my things. And if your dog is going to be an issue. Buy lots of treats. Buy lots of treats or maybe look for like a, a doggy daycare where he can go for a couple hours a day. Or yeah, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. Like if, if you got to take calls and you don't want him barking or doing the extra, doing the most in the background, maybe look into that. It could be an option. Because doggy daycares ain't no joke nowadays. Like no. they're nice. They they are. Like they plush and That's what I'm all types of stuff. Take like your, he, give your dog yeah. a, a spa day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to do that every week, but no. you know, you can figure out little things to yeah. maybe within a two hour period. I don't need nobody barking. Mm -hmm. I don't need the dog barking. Mm -hmm. So you need to go here. So yeah, those are our suggestions. And that is our last question. Hopefully, hopefully we got some good questions. Yes. You guys, we have so many questions that we we're going to have to do this again. We are. And our battery, we're talking really fast because our battery is the flashing on the camera. And so is our so, Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can put them down. We may do like a live streaming Q&A or something. Maybe. Or, yeah, I don't know, I'm talking too much. So, thumbs it up. Subscribe it out so everybody you know, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. You got it locked, it was meant to be. So keep it right here, Gay Babe TV. All my peeps in the place with a smile on their face. You know we keeping it real, but it's all heart-shaped love. Gay Babe.